Hi, welcome back to Odd Downer Garage. I got the wood stove hooked up. I did the chimney out. Double insulated pipe. Silicone with flashing on the outside. I got the flue. I'll open it up. I got it burning. Burns real good. It's actually burning real hot. I got the choke set, set the flu, and what I did was, I got a piece of sheet metal here, just to protect uh, the plastic, but I also did, did a double wall, I did the concrete board, and then a bunch of sheet metal right here, spaced out roughly two and a quarter inches, the sheet metal gets hot. Uh, concrete board in, in the back, ice cold. I did. Uh, I have a cabinet kind of close, but I did the same thing all the way around it. And the sheet metal from the inside, whoa, damn, that's hot. I'm not even kidding. Cabinet, ice cold. I think. Uh, I think I gotta finish painting, but I got it running right now. So, and I added this little blower got a little filter on the end. It's a speed controller, so I can turn it down, turn it up. I can angle this, twist it. It twists and angles. I got that all set so it blows the excess heat around the machine, or around the, uh, the wood stove. My garage. What the heck happened in here? Holy cow, it was all because I had to move this cabinet, which was where the wood stove was. I was originally going to put the wood stove where the cabinet was, but it stuck out kind of far. So far it sticks out. Again, this is an operational garage. I work on vehicles, cars. I have friends that come by. You know, do, there's no way I'd be able to stick. They had to, it, just, it just wouldn't work. I'm going to do a side angle. You can see the wood stove right there. It would just stick out too far if I had it here, and it wouldn't give me enough. Holy crap, we're going to trash. I, I'm going to be throwing a lot of stuff out <laughs> the next few days. Yeah, sorry. It, uh, that was all just to get the wood stove installed, but now, it's up, it, it's, uh, as far as I know, it's coated. All up to code. Uh, I think I might add, obviously, because paper insulation. Yeah, I removed the insulation there. I'm, I'm probably going to be doing more, uh, just because it's a paper backing. Presently, it's it's a little warm. It's not not screaming hot, but I'm going to be getting more uh, concrete board, and I'm going to concrete board all that. I'm not too concerned about that. That's a solid header. But concrete board all this over here too. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to. But the flashing, wow, what a difference! It's amazing. Just by adding no, I just cut pieces of copper. It's a huge difference. Yeah, that's my Glenwood modern Glenwood wood power wood stove. It is great. The thing is cranking some heat. I think by adding a little bit of electronics right here with the, the forcing the air around the wood stove. Oh, I'm actually sweating right now and I got a 32 by 24 garage. It's full of crap right now. Like I said, I'm going to be going through all of it and throwing a lot of stuff away and cleaning it out, opening my garage back up. Thanks for watching. Comment and uh, subscribe. A fearless front tractor. Not done. Still working. I got free heat right now because I can get tons of pallets, which I cut up a couple right there. Tons of them for free all day long. That's why I'm like, yeah, I've been burning oil in the furnace in the, with, the brown, with the license plates. That, that's my old oil furnace, which works fine. There's nothing wrong with it. 
This way I can get the garage where I want it by setting the thermostat and fire up the wood stove when when the temp gets when it gets the temp the wood stove kicks in and the oil won't burn at all. That's prime. Thank you.